We have all this stuff that needs to be powder coated and all of it has whip tags and combine cards attached to that. How do we get this hung up and how do we get the tags back with the product when it's done with powder coating? Hey everyone, it's Brian with Lean By Doing today. I'm gonna to show you guys some really cool things in our powder coating area. Let's start here with our powder coating carts. As you can see, we have product hanging ready to go into the paint booth. Some of the changes we've made to really improve on this, as you can see, we have a halo that goes all the way around. Before, we used to have a bar down the middle. That would make it difficult for the painter to stand in the middle here while they're painting the parts. So now we got rid of that bar. We've also created a barrier, so when we're pushing this in and out of the oven, we're not scraping the parts on the sides of the ovens or the other carts or the other parts. Next up, we removed having holes, single holes, and we went with this saw tooth design here, so it allows us to pick the hooks up and physically just move them if we need to reshuffle the parts on the cart. This makes for a much easier loading experience for our powder coaters. We've been powder coating for about seven years and this is a cart layout that we had never thought of. What we have here is four carts in an array that'll actually fit inside of our oven. Before we were using odd shaped carts that wouldn't fit, so we were using about two thirds of its capacity. But now with our new carts, we can fit four carts into our oven, which is our bottleneck. Now that we have four carts in the oven, we need to know how long they take. So we use this kitchen timer that we bought off of Amazon. It has four locations with times. Then we use visual control. Seven minute cycle is for drying and for powder coating primer. And then 21 is the final coat. So anything that's black or silver or red or blue has to bake for 21 minutes. So right now looking at this, I know that all four spots in the oven are filled and they're the 21 minute cycle. These are the standby numbers, so as we move stuff up and down, we can shuffle around and we can make sure that we all know what's in the oven from one glance. The next improvement is sequencing. What we have here are two carts that are steel, so they go in together. We use two painters to speed up this process, but we need to make sure that both carts are matching materials. So we're actually looking at what we're loading off the cart and we're making sure that we do two carts of aluminum, two carts of steel, two carts of aluminum, two carts of steel. And that way when we use two painters, we can get more through. Now we are over here looking at our Gemba board setup and this is where we keep track of all the stuff that's important. For example, we have our Fat American Manufacturing Weekly Goal Board right here. And as you can see, we're tracking how many carts we're unloading per day. Monday we did 13, our goal is 12. Tuesday we did 12. Wednesday, we're at four. And then you can see we're keeping track and we're making sure that we're keeping this on because this helps fix our flow. Next, you're looking at our Kamishi by board, also from Fat American Manufacturing. Daily, weekly, and monthly tasks using Gemba Docs. We have our daily tasks here, which are a lot of like easy maintenance stuff, emptying the trash, making sure your hooks are ready. Then here from there, we go down to, to our weekly. And our weekly is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. As you can see, they have a task for each day except for Thursday. And this is maintenance that we do on all of our big equipment. Last but not least on our gimbal board setup, you have the Fat American Manufacturing Turnback Board. This is where we actually find the problems that are keeping us from working. So this is stuff that disrupts our flow. And then we list them here in issues. And then from there, the leadership team can come through and determine how to fix those problems. And last but not least, here's how we're handling the whip tags that come with every product. We have bins that are marked for carts, so cart one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of the whip tags and combine carts for cart number two are right here in this bin. So when it comes around to be unloaded, we have numbers right on top of our carts that correspond with these bins, and that allows us to get the products matched back up with their whip tags and combine carts. So this is a batch style powder coating system. So you have to be very aware of what you're doing to make sure that you don't make it a giant batch batches will kill your flow. So you want to make sure that you're minimizing those batches as much as possible and pushing stuff through and keeping the product flowing so that your operation can continue to flow and product and value can go to the customer.